Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing with you all a Lululemon haul. Items that I have been gathering the past couple weeks. I have all of my hair size four on bottom and six up top. So um, if you're curious about sizing and stuff like that, just start off with tops. So actually, um, the first one is what I am wearing. This is the scuba pullover. I genuinely, I'll go ahead and like zoom you guys out a little bit. I was actually literally going to buy this full price when I saw it online. It's just a plain heathered gray sweatshirt. It has the large kangaroo pocket in the front. Um, at least that's what I call it, the kangaroo pocket. It is just a regular old, super comfy. Um, but why I like specifically the scuba pullover so much is because they are, I think it's French terry on the inside because it's a really comfortable cotton fabric and it's lightweight, but yet it keeps you warm. And I mean, come on, I love the thumb holes on anything. I'm sold. Next, um, I knew this was gonna be a problem as soon as I bought it, but I knew I had to have it anyway. Uh, and I'm hoping that stain remover can help. So this, I actually um, have not seen in store. I mean, I've not seen it online. It's for sure in store. Uh, at my store, we have it at least. It's the Rulu Run uh, Half Zip. And this is just in a plain white, but it is so soft. And that's why I wanted it. Um, it's a great pullover if you're wearing like a, um, I guess you could wear it as a tank top. I wear it as like a regular shirt versus a pullover um, and just wear like a cute little sports bra. It's just so comfortable because it's that Rulu fabric. I did go for a run in this and not my favorite. I know it's intended um, that you can use it for a run, but I am just not a fan of Rulu when I'm running. But some people like it if they're running outside in the cold. I'm not a fan of running outside in the cold, so I'm not gonna do it. But yeah, I ran on the treadmill and just was like, eh, I'm not feeling this. So those are just my thoughts. Next, um, some other pullovers. So the All Yours line, specifically at Lululemon, anything they put out, I almost will buy it. Uh, depending on if I already have that color. This is just a plain Jane gray all yours hoodie. It may seem very plain to have, but it's just such a good staple. And with the all yours, they are very, very, very soft. And it's a thicker material. I have layering during the winter time. As you guys know, I recently moved from Florida to Missouri. Um, I am used to the Missouri winters, but Needless to say, wearing like leggings, a hoodie, and a coat over your hoodie, like a long coat, to me, it's a look. I wear my booties with it, and you're all set, um, and you're comfortable. So, I love the All Yours line. I think I sized up in this. Uh, most of the All Yours stuff, though, if you do get it true to size, it's a little bit oversized anyway. So if you want it a little bit tighter, I would recommend sizing down. So this is just a plain black hoodie and it has the Lululemon graphic. I do have one of these in plain black, but like I said, I wear the All Yours hoodies all the time. Um, I've replaced them with my older hoodies or just like my Amazon hoodies that are, you know, $10, $15 and replace them with something that's um, a little bit nicer and will last longer. So I got this to be able to wear at work since I don't want to wear just my one really good black hoodie all the time. With the All Yours items though, they don't have the thumb holes. So just don't be surprised by that. And I picked up a, another All Yours tee. So I picked this up in like the green and white striped tee. I love these lounging around the house, nighttime shirt, that type of situation. Some of my plain colors, like a white, a black, something like that, I will actually wear out and about. I will dress it up with jeans, 
boots and like a blazer or something like that. It's gonna be my lounging round shirt because I'm not the biggest stripe gal. Um, but for around the house, it's the same exact uh, layout as the hoodie. So plain black tee with the Lululemon graphic across the front. This is just a great go-to. Two things that are a little bit new. Um, so this is the Ebb to Street long sleeve. And as soon as I saw this online, I knew I had to have it but they sell out so fast. So, long story short, um, my store actually had this and they put it on Markdown. So I got this for a fraction of the price and I'm so excited to have it. This is also a new color. It was a one of and they decided to mark it down. So as soon as I saw, I knew I had to have it and I'm so excited to wear this. Um, even if I'm just wearing this like on walks with a cute jacket over the top, I'm just so excited to style this and wear it. Um, I love the Ebda Street bras. I actually am wearing it right now. I love the Ebda Street tanks, long tanks, the crop tanks. I love them. They're comfortable. And the main selling point for me is that they have a built-in bra into them. So you don't even have to worry about wearing a bra because it's already built in which I love now this is I picked up a swiftly tech short sleeve um, I these are great staples to get I have to remind myself to continue to get staples even though I do pick up some of the markdown items but if I do find something that I really love I'll go ahead and pick it up um, before waiting later in the season to see if it does go on sale but the blue Nile short sleeve this is the full length of a swiftly tech uh, sometimes I like to crop them or like have them hemmed a little bit shorter Swiftly's they do have the body mapping uh, material to give you a little bit of shape they also have the silver essence material built into them so theoretically um, the thought process behind it is I love to throw it in my bag if I'm going on a weekend trip. I only bring like two shirts, but I wanna work out three times. I can rewear this shirt and it doesn't smell. I've tried it before, it's crazy, but it works. So that was pretty cool. I have two bras to show you guys. Um, I did pick these up on Black Friday. So I love the, like I said, the Ebda Street are my favorite. They're just the most comfortable in my mind. So this one is in the color Spiced Chai, which I love. It's a very muted pink. But what I love about these bras is you can actually unclip it in the back if you want it more of like a traditional bra style or you can clip them together to have more of a razor back fit. If you're wearing like a tank top or something and you don't want the straps to show. So that's great. And then, so I didn't tell you guys yet, but my only Free To Be Wild bra that I have in the hot pink color um, got ripped apart in my dryer because it caught, long story short, there's like a little piece that's like sticking up in my dryer, which we need to just fix. And it caught a hold of the straps and completely ripped all of the straps apart, like ripped them out. So I didn't have a free to be wild and I love that bra. So when I saw this green speckled color, honestly, I don't even know what the color code is. It's RJRR. Um, I mean, it looks like rainforest green. So maybe just like a something to go with it. But I thought this was really cute. It's a great staple. I honestly need to take a break on buying bras because I have plenty right now. Moving on to pants, so kind of like the main event. I, if you guys didn't know, on Black Friday, they announced that they were discontinuing the Wonder Unders, which are my tried and true. They're my favorite. It was the first pant I actually ever got from Lululemon, and therefore I knew I had to stock up. So, I do have a couple plain black pairs already um, but I went ahead and just picked up some new ones 
I honestly may just keep them with the tags on to have in my closet so that I know that these are the newer ones. Have the older ones fold it, obviously, and using them. Uh, fold it away and using them periodically. So I just got two plain black 25 inch Wonder Unders. I'm just, I'm so sad that they're discontinuing. Also to go along with that, I got a plain navy blue, um, true navy. Fun fact, I actually didn't own any true navy items in pants or tops, so. Glad that I was able to snag that on Markdown, but I'm so sad that they're discontinuing it. So sad. Also, I actually didn't get a chance to pick this up last year during Black Friday, but our store ended up having a one of, and we put it on Markdown, obviously. And I was excited to pick it up because it is kind of Lululemon's version of the Spanx leather leggings, I would say, because the Wonder Unders do suck you in. So, excited to try these. They're obviously not as patent leather. These are not leather at all. I'm excited to style these. I'm not going to be working out in these. Honestly, I'm going to wear them with like an oversized sweatshirt and a large jacket. That kind of look with sneakers. I think this would look really cute with that. So that is kind of the idea behind these. And finally, the last item for pants. I picked up these LA Super High Rise Joggers. These were one of at our store and I believe they were online only, but I saw these and I was like, I don't know how I feel about them. But the longer that I looked at them, when they were in the store, I love them. So I believe it's Sonic Pink. Yeah, and it's ombre. So how cute and happy are these? It's so, I love them so much. So I'm actually probably going to wear these tomorrow night since I do work at night shift. And honestly, I work in the back um, doing like restock and packages and stuff like that. So I think this would be so bright and fun to wear tomorrow night at work. And yeah, they do have the little Lululemon emblem on the back and they're just super baggy. They remind me of like early 2000s, late 90s, oversized baggy sweatpants. That's fine. And finally, I have some accessory items that I want to show you guys. So, first of all, I have been wanting these um, fast and free belt bags. So these hook on to your waist and you can put I mean you can put like car keys credit card something like that but mainly why I wanted one of these is to put my phone back here I don't go for like long distance run guys but if I'm going for a run I don't like to hold my phone while I run and typically like it's not winter all year long so I'm not wearing a jacket all year round so this this would have been great to have in Florida, and I don't know why I didn't buy one when I worked there last year. No, I just never got around to it, but this would have been fantastic. Even like going on walks to have it in your back, um, like around your waist. It would have been great to have, but I'm glad that I have it now. This is in the color pink taupe, which is like a purpley pink color. I think it's super cute. And I grabbed, I picked this up a couple weeks ago, the Bubble Knit Pond Beanie, and I've kept the tag on it so that I could show you guys, and I didn't wear it yet, but I'm so excited to wear it because it's a knit fabric. How cute! How like, cute is this? Like, so stinking adorbs. It's adorable. Beige, taupey, stone color. Probably actually has the official color on here. Heathered Rover. Super cute, I love it. It's a very soft fabric. I don't like when hats are very tight and this one is definitely a looser fit top. Finally, I wore this last weekend when we went to one of Jordan's um, pick up hockey games and it is so nice. It looks very luxurious. Well, I mean, it is luxurious because it's woven wool um, but 
but they also have this stitched in at the bottom which it says Lululemon has like established in Vancouver 1998 and this is just really nice it's very large it actually opens up into a large like rectangle wrap it up into like an infinity scarf if you wanted to I just wore it open like this with my sweater and my coat and it kept me very warm it's really nice it's a very nice fabric it's soft it for my little lemon haul I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and please give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys Thank you.